Hi guys. Hey, what's up? Welcome to our show, Love in the Time of Robots. Yeah. This is the online dating show where we answer your questions about what it's like in the world of Instagram. Tonight we're actually going to be talking to DJ Flula, who is a live caster and a YouTuber and amazing. Yep. We're going to be answering your questions and your uh, all of your tweets that you've sent us. Yeah, also we're true. also going to be talking about breaking up over text messaging. Yeah, how to do it. Yeah, the instructions of how exactly the best way to do it. Send it. I think it's time to do the robot. Let's just start the show. Hello. Welcome to our show. Can you feel us? I'm Gabe Delahaye. I'm Emily Gordon. Hi, Emily. Hi. Uh, and this is Love in the Time of Robots. We are here basically to help you find some answers as to how to navigate the world of dating now that technology is a part of our lives, now that we reach for our phones before we reach for whoever is in bed next to us yeah. when we wake up in the morning. Yeah. We're here to help you with all of that. That's right. And to do that, today we're going to welcome our special guest. He is a musician, a YouTuber. A comedian. You can follow his YouTube channel at DJ Flula, and I would like to welcome Flula Board. Flula! Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Hello. Hi, Flula. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Excellent. You are here from German. You're German originally. Not like for three hours. Yes. Yeah. But I was born in the from the mom there. Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been in the United States? About 750 days. That's great. 750 so days. days. That's a, so that's a large days. amount of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of your life happens, you, you kind of live on the internet, essentially. Creepy to say, but yes. I like to be times, creepy. Cameras, cameras, stream it. A lot of yeah. streaming. Do you also date uh, on the internet? How has it affected your dating life to be? I try to do like, you know, separation of the church and the state or what. Yeah. Dating times, let's hang out with real humans. Yeah. <laughs> Work times, hello. Binary numbers. So how do you how, meet the real humans? I was going to ask that. It's a good question. It's a good question. My, I it's a good question, question. So I get the credit. Credit. <laughs> Plus one. Thank you. Yeah. Minus uh, one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I like to go to places where food is served. Okay. Like and a restaurant. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah better yeah. word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Also coffee places. Okay. You know? So places where humans are going. This yeah. is where I shall go and then I hang out with other humans. And, and you will, like if you're at a restaurant, you'll just hit on someone at a restaurant. You'll be like, that looks like a great food. Thing. Let's go on a date. Uh, no, no. <laughs> but if something looks yummy, I will say part one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Part very two, good. no. You are yeah. clearly very well qualified to help us answer questions from people about dating. So let's go with Erica with our, our first question. You want to help us answer? Oh, pfft. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. It's Our first question comes from Marcus in Santa Monica. He wants to know the following. He says, my girlfriend dumped me with a text message. Her message basically said, Quote, no hard feelings, but I don't think this is working. I didn't reply, but I wish I had a one-liner to send back. Any ideas for next time? For next time. New phone, who this? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that is that what is I good. would send her. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you could also go with a TLDR, too long, didn't read. Doesn't yeah. matter how long or how short it is. Yeah. Too long, didn't read. Yeah. Summarize, be a little shorter. This guy's clearly hurting a little bit, though, yeah. don't you think? Well, it's also always the person doing the breaking up who's like, no hard feelings. <laughs> I think we all agree that there's no hard feelings as I break up with you over text over messages. Over text messages, sure. There's We're no all hard on feelings. board with this. Have you ever been dumped via text message? No, but if this happens, why are you, like, responding? Put down the phone. You know yeah. addresses, like you understand how streets are working. Walk to the house and make some knocks, right? Yeah, are you make, kidding me? <laughs> right. What is this, like, clever times, <coughs> B-R-B-L-O-L? No. So Walk what would you say in person knocks. once you actually get there? What would you, what would I would you do? I would give to my phone say, read this to me, punk. <laughs> You know? mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is the only answer you really need for that question. I think we've solved that one. Right. Yeah. Well done. Well done. We got, are we doing another question? Well, we have yeah, because that's our theme. Yeah. Oh, well, that's we talked, right. We've got our theme. This is our theme for this it's week. It's pretty simple. Break up with someone on the phone. So you're telling people to do this. Do it. Yeah, Text clearly... everyone. Everybody break up. <laughs> right and now. And do it now. Break up now. We're going to see how many breakups we can inspire currently right now. Pick up your phone. Break up with her. Don't do him. And then do a little JK at the end. No hard feelings. JK. No hard, no feelings. hard feelings. Yeah, uh, I've I've never been. I think I've been dumped. 
I, it wasn't even, it was such a not a dating situation that I couldn't even really call it being dumped. Yeah. But I have I had a guy be like, no more, we're done here. Over text. Hmm. It was not cool. Yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. Have you not ever had that happen? Either? I don't, I think that in general there's just no text, like it just stops. Stop texting. People are just like, let's just. The no text is the breakup text. We're just not talking anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bummer. Although, it, it, that's the thing. Everybody thinks they want closure at the end of a relationship, you know? You don't need closure. You're you know, fine. You, You're fine. You think don't that's overrated? Closure is not a big deal. Who cares? <laughs> you know that it's over. The closure is you haven't talked to her or him in three months. That's true. Closure is really about what's inside of you. Would well, you also, say like, more so than the other person? Like, look, if, you, if it works out perfectly and you have, like, this last date where you both are like, you know what, this has been fun, but we're both on the same page, we're just going to be done, then that's good closure. Sending someone a text that's like, yo, I don't like you, is not, I mean, like, that's closure, but it's not actually cool. No, it doesn't feel any better. It's, yeah. it's almost like it's a deeper stab instead of, like, a slight stab yeah. that, like, lasts longer. Yeah. yeah. There's different types of closure. How have you guys broken up with girls in the past? I speak to ladies. You speak to them? We just speak. Yeah. Yeah. But I understand Weird. sometimes if it's like, hey, she's really scary. Like, what's the movie with Barbara Streisand and she's stabbing the... the Prince of Tides. <laughs> I don't know. Prince of Tides. Then this person, I think you run away. Yeah. 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 So you think sometimes to protect yourself, you have to put a little distance in there. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I get that. I think the guy that broke up with me just did not... It was such a casual thing that when he was like, hey, I'm going to go to this thing with this other girl, I was like, all right. But inside, I was crying and sobbing for a yeah, while because no, we were going to get married. Outside. Yeah. 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 He's probably here. Erica, do we have another question? We do. Our second question today is our We Read It on Reddit question where we tackle a popular question from the Ask from Ask Reddit. All right, so today's question is, my wife went batshit crazy because I posted a pic of my son in a costume before she did on Facebook, stealing all the precious likes. Reddit, what is the strangest <laughs> shit your spouse slash significant other has gotten angry at you for? First of all, language. Language. Uh, this couple has some other issues going on. Yeah. That's my thought. Uh, yeah. If they're getting that angry over Facebook likes and stealing them from each over other. Over pictures of their children, no less. Uh, over pictures of the creatures <laughs> yeah. that you made together. Yeah. Creepy, that's creepy. That's a little, a little weird, gross. right? Yeah. I, and I, I mean, that's a, I mean, I think everybody, everybody's got stuff that makes them mad that's super weird. But I feel like if you're getting in a fight over yeah. Facebook likes, reevaluate. Yeah. Also, don't drag me into your business where she's like, What's the strangest thing that your spouse got mad at you for? It's like, you deal with your own stuff. <laughs> don't, like, make it all, like, we all have a story no. like this, because we don't. Just because you, you tell guys, a story, don't yeah. mean now I have to drop my pants with you. Yeah. Right. No, no, you don't have to drop your pants with him. Although, right. do you guys have any stories about crazy stuff girls have done? Nah. No, not really. I can't say. I think the most is, my nah. husband gets mad when I open video game boxes without him. That is almost exactly the same as the question. <laughs> He you absolutely get... have the exact same problems. He's not really mad, but he just wants to be there when it happens. He wants to be there when it's open. Yeah. I had a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend who, if she got a magazine in the mail and I flipped through it before she had flipped through it, she would be mad. See, she there was you go. a sociopath. So there were like other things going on. So is this a warning sign? I need to be looking. I think it's for? a big deal. Do you I think, think I'm in trouble? Deal. No. No. Probably. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll deal with that in next week's episode. <laughs> uh, what do we have coming up next? Now I'm a little, sh I'm a little shook, frankly. Do we have another we have question another coming question. up? We do have another question. This question comes to us via Twitter. Brandon in Indiana asks, Yo, love bot, do you think online dating promotes only meeting people with similar interests, or do we just all, do we, or do we just all do that way? IRL. Hold on, I got a little. Confused at, at Brandon's question. Hold on. Are similar, or do we just all do that anyway in real life? That's what he said. Yeah, I figured it out. I got you. I got you, Brandon. D what? What? <laughs> what are we doing in a fake? Pl what? He's saying, do we all do we all in real life just filter people and find people with similar interests, or is online dating making it so that we oh, only meet people with like similar the interests? cafeteria? Like, hey, those guys wearing my shoes too. Let's have Let's mashed potatoes. Let's go talk to them. Yeah. 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 That's I a really good that, analogy. I think that the online dating thing is a myth. Like the thing, the idea that you're really finding someone with very similar interests. Like I don't, it's really just like, oh, you like the Royal Tannenbaums. Like that's it. Yeah. Like, that's like all you learn is that they like the Royal Tannenbaums and so you don't have to talk about the Royal Tannenbaums. 
And You've already cleared that off your yeah. list. Yeah, and then everything else about them is a mystery. They're probably garbage. <laughs> They're <laughs> probably a nightmare, but you're just like everyone else. But you're assuming that them liking Royal Tenenbaums it speaks to something deeper about their character. I but guess. that's not necessarily true. I don't think it's true. No. When you're looking for girls, like what kind of girl, like what kind of interest do you want the girls you date to have? I like them to be nice. That's okay, great, that's you know. good. Yeah, yeah that's no, a really have good. No, no murder. No, no murder. murder. No murders. Like not one. Is one a manslaughter? One they eat food. They eat food. They use toilets. Yeah, these are important. Those things. are the key things. Yeah, yeah. I think to say if you don't like Goonies, we are done. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, just because you don't like sloths doesn't mean we can't have intercourse. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I agree. Running on a platform of just because you don't like sloth doesn't mean that we can't have intercourse. <laughs> I agree. DJ Flula, everybody. That's yeah. I, yeah. I would vote. I would vote for that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I will say I did I did once date a guy that I we technically met over Friendster because we he he likes Steely Dan and I really like Steely Dan. But that did not work out. How did it work out? It didn't. It didn't work out, but not because we didn't have similar interests. Yeah, similar interests don't Doesn't, always mean everything. There you go. Yeah, they For almost sure. never mean anything. Before our next question, we're actually going to have a special segment. Uh, something that Sex and the City fans like Gabe will big, certainly remember. Big fan. Big fan. Right. Big fan. Uh, it's know. a have famous it? scene. Not yet. With a modern twist. <laughs> So do I. I didn't want to say anything until we were all together, but Harry and I made up, and he gave me the new iPhone 5. Oh, oh my god! Oh, congratulations! congratulations. Oh, my god. oh my god, look at that new iPhone Retina display. I know, it's the same limited edition that Jay-Z gave Beyonce. Uh, well, it is fabulous. It's even more fabulous than the last iPhone you got. So, Carrie, what was your news? Oh, uh, Burger broke up with me with a text message. With oh. a text message? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Read it and weep, my friends. Let me see this. I'm sorry, I can't. Don't hate me? Motherfucker's concise. Oh, wait, first of all, I thought you were gonna break up with him. Yeah, I was, and I should have, but he said he wanted to work things out. AKA reactivate his J date profile mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. A text message? That's infuriating. I remember when breaking up with people with a voicemail was considered bad form. I once was broken up with on a guy's MySpace page. I'm sorry, Miss Hobbs, but James is no longer one of your top friends. Oh, guys, I miss MySpace. So are you gonna text him back or no? No, I'm not gonna dignify his behavior with a response. I'm not even gonna send him an angry text messages. You are a dick. Smiley face. Mm. But, although that did feel good saying it to you guys just now. Girl, cause we're here for you. I'm sorry. You know that. Yeah, I am too. That relationship was a complete waste of time. Well, it's never a complete waste of time. You can even learn something from your worst relationship. You might not want to say that to a girl with a loaded text message. And now, we have another question from Erica. Yes, our next question comes from Twitter. It's from Corey in Santa Barbara. And Corey asks, I found a video of my friend's sister and her boyfriend on an amateur porn site. Oof. This is definitely not something her family knows about. Should I tell him? <laughs> what do we tell Corey? This is some uh, serious stuff, you yikes. guys. Yikes. What? Yes. Yes. Tell him. Yes. Tell him. Like, tell him. like, don't wait. Tell him. What are you waiting? He, why are you asking this question? Yeah. Already, it's like <laughs> he should have told now. him already. Yeah. But wait, does he need to tell his friend or does he need to tell that sister? We I would go straight to the sister. should have this question earlier so he could have told her already. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah. Slow. Hurry up technology. Because I would say go. the last thing that you want to tell your male friend is, hey, your sister, I watched her have sex recently on the internet. Or maybe the first thing you want to tell <laughs> your friend is well, that wait, thing. Why do you tell the friend? Like, maybe you should talk to the sister That's what first. I'm saying. Go straight to the sister. Don't yeah. tell the friend. Really? You yeah. You say tell the friend. Horror. What Horror? happens? You tell the sister, now she knows uh, he has seen my clitoris and everything? Well, she put it on the site. She she that, that we was, don't know she, this. Well, that's why you talk We're to her We're not Magnum PI. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why yeah. you talk to her. We and might be say, Magnum PI. Hi, I'm Magnum PI. Hi, I'm Columbo. I have a few questions. 
please answer. Please answer right. yeah. my questions. Notepad, pencil. Notepad, pencil. I think, would you rather know or not know about that? I think an overall, if it would never come back to hurt me in any way, I would rather not know that that was out there. No, this is not like a rock we bury in the grass. This is the internet. I mean, it's... like one hashtag anus, you know, and then boom, everyone has seen it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a different hashtag. That's but, true. You know. Yeah. Well, I think definitely to either talk to you, talk to your friend, or talk to the girl. But talk to the you should talk to everybody. Just, just you know what? Call a family meeting. Call the family. Call the whole family Get into the, the room. Parents involved. Cousins. Are yeah. their grandparents alive? Are they in town? Bring them in. Tell them. Bust Tell them, them in. Bust. Tell everyone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna go back to Erica, who has our How About We Twitter poll of the week. I certainly do. Our friends at HowAboutWe.com, the offline dating site, are giving away. 25% off memberships for Love and Time Robot fans. Just use the promo code ROBOTS, and if you want to win a free membership, yeah, that card, that card, I read that right, it's a free membership, uh, just answer this week's Twitter poll. The question is, what song most describes your love life? What song? I'm actually thinking oh. about what song. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We didn't what start song? the fire? All right. No? <laughs> no. Nope. Yes. No? Yeah. That's uh, good. Tiny yeah. Dancer? Tiny, tiny dancer. Tiny dancer. Tiny dancer. What? Yeah. You guys got anything for that? I was gonna say tiny dancer. <laughs> so yeah, I was gonna say tiny dancer. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, three tiny dancers. We're three tiny dancers here. Hold us close. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, for watching the show today. This is our show. This is uh, our show. Thank you to the promotional partners we have, which is Meltdown Comics on Sunset Boulevard, as well as HowAboutWe.com. Yeah. Um, you can watch us every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific at Mashable.com or at uh, Ustream.com slash Lovebot. Yep, and you can follow us on Twitter, you can check out our website, and you can always ask us your questions, and we want to thank DJ Fula again for coming in. You've been amazing, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Welcome guys. to America. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so enjoy the next 700 days. That's a little racist to welcome someone. He's been here for almost two years. Thank I'm, you so much to Erica. <laughs> I think it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> and thank, thank you. you to Ross yeah. Everett as well. Have a good night, everybody.